with Leslie here. Good morning. It is an awesome day already. I managed to roll out of bed and go for a three mile run in some chilly weather. I'm not going to complain. It's 50 degrees, which isn't as bad as it could be in a lot of other places. I know it's much, much colder. So anywho, um, on my run, first of all, one thing that was awesome was I was, I always have these great thoughts on my run, like things I want to explore further or that I want to write about or speak about or whatever. And whenever I have a really good one, I find that I often look down and there's a penny or a coin or something. And today I didn't just find a penny. I found not one quarter, but two quarters, which is cool for a penny finder. That's like super happy dance time, but also really amazing because then I can do this. That's just really fun to do. I think everybody should give it a try. I close my eyes, even though there's quarters in front of them. Like, it's just a fun face to make. Bah. The noise particularly seems to help. Go ahead, give it a try. I'll wait. Isn't it fun, right? If you didn't do it, I don't understand why. If somebody tells me that something's gonna be really fun or make me smile and there's no lasting effects and I don't have to do it again ever after I see them, I'll give it a try. So if you did it, I wanna know. Put a comment down below. If you didn't, that's cool, but I wanna know why too. Why can't you just make the face, be silly. Okay, so the thing that I wanna tell you about is regarding this little scratch on my chin, which I didn't realize I had until I went in the bathroom this morning and looked in the mirror. And then I realized I dreamt about this last night. I had a dream that I scratched myself with my thumbnail and then I turned to someone and said, is it all right, is it bad? Like in the dream, it was much, much worse than just this little cut. And it made me realize that dreams and reality are separated by a very thin line. I always stop and pause to think about all the things in this world that didn't exist until somebody dreamed them up first. I mean, think about it. The Wright brothers dreamed up airplanes and Henry Ford dreamed up these like mechanical like beasts. He said one time that if he had asked his customers what they wanted, they would have said a faster horse. Like they didn't know what a car was. Nobody could imagine that it wasn't in front of them so how did they know right and Steve Jobs like all the things that he had in his mind that became realities in you know when Apple came around so our dreams and realities are much closer than we think and a lot of times the reason that our dreams don't become realities faster is because we have so much stink and resistance to them and the reason they become vivid in our dreams is because you can't resist in your sleep so stop resisting in your real life. Why let all the fun happen in your sleep? If you have these crazy dreams, let yourself believe a little bit more. Let yourself hope a little bit more, laugh a little bit more, do a little bit more of this. And maybe, just maybe, some of those amazing dreams will become your amazing realities. That's the thought for the day. I hope you got make it a good one. Take care and I'll see you again soon.